Welcome to the News at 6. I'm Doug Petcash. Morgan Romero is on assignment. Lori Vallow Daybell sat in court today as investigators laid out her finances. Today marks day 12 in her murder trial. She's the Rexburg mom charged with murder, conspiracy to commit murder, and grand theft in the deaths of two of her kids, JJ and Tylee, and her fifth and current husband, Chad Daybell's late wife, Tammy. News Channel 7's Sarah, Sarah Matsuzawa has been at the Ada County Courthouse since the trial began. She walks us through what happened today. Court ended today after Lori Vallow's friend April Raymond took the stand. April was friends with Vallow while she lived in Hawaii. She says in February of 2019, Lori and Tylee arrived in Hawaii and Lori claimed she was leaving Charles. She said Lori told her Charles was having an affair and he was a demon named Ed Snyder. April also testified Vallow told her she had been appointed the leader for the 144,000 and she was there to gather April to join her. She said Lori told her she would need to be separated from her children and she had fulfilled her role to them and had a greater mission to fill. But much of the first half of the day focused on Lori Vallow's finances. FBI forensics accountant Michael Douglas testified he reviewed nearly 80 bank accounts and credit cards for Lori Vallow, Chad Daybell and Alex Cox. Today, he said on June 9th of 2020, Chad Daybell issued three transfers from his credit union to his children. Each transfer in the amount of $8,000, each transfer happening the same day and time, officers searched Chad's property and found the remains of J.J. and Tylee. This morning, we were there as J.J.'s grandparents, Kay and Larry Woodcock, talked about what happened in court on Tuesday. Was there any surprises for you? There was lots of surprises. But... Like what? <sighs> Lori's tight. With Colby? Yeah. But I, I, I'm not going to go into it any more than that, guys. But that was probably my biggest surprise yesterday. Charles Vallow is Kay's brother. Today, law enforcement and first responders from Chandler, Arizona, also testified about what they saw the day Alex Cox shot and killed Charles and what he claimed was self-defense. Scott Caudia with Chandler Fire Department described performing CPR on Charles and how based on his experience, it appeared no one had attempted CPR before he arrived. Chandler Police Detective Cassandra Inklin was also on the scene that day. We asked what Lori's reaction was like. She said Lori appeared calm, not really upset, and at one point was laughing. And court is expected to resume tomorrow morning at the Ada County Courthouse. Shira Matsuzawa, Idaho's News Channel 7. For the latest on all of our coverage on the trial of Lori Vallow, be sure to check out our website. And if you're looking for more behind the scenes discussions from court, check out our KTBB Plus streaming show inside the courtroom. Just scan the QR code on your screen or head to KTBB.com.